that's what we're being taught. Why are we being taught? Because the ruling philosopher today in Harvard and everywhere else is Immanuel Kant. And that's the real villain of our age. It's not Karl you mean, Marx. You mean he's the one, huh? He is the Kant one. Kant is the one. Yeah. Okay. It's not Karl Marx and it's not even religion. So I do not approve of religion, as you know. But those are not the villains. The villains is Immanuel Kant, who preached that man's mind is not valid, that the things you perceive are not there. They're not real. Things in themselves, as he preached, are something which exist in another dimension. Your world is only phenomenal, as he called it, and then there is this noumenal world which you cannot perceive in any way whatever, and that noumenal world is the true reality. Only you can't perceive it, so you better live here on Earth and do your duty. And uh, your duty is some kind of voice that comes from these other dimensions which you can't know, well, how does he know? He doesn't tell you. But he tells you that uh, morally you have to do your duty. What does your duty consist of? Of doing things in which you can take no possible interest and no advantage to yourself. You know that he is even worse than an altruist. An altruist would tell you, you shouldn't be happy, but you should sacrifice for other people and then your moral. Kant goes beyond it. He says, if you do things because you have any goal, whatever, even the welfare of others. Your uh, action is not moral. Or as he puts it, it has no moral significance. To be truly moral, you should do things out of which you get nothing whatever, neither for yourself nor for others. If you can achieve that kind of uh, being a total zero, offered for being eaten by any cannibal, then you're moral. Now that's the philosopher who rules today's life. If that is what the universities are preaching, Kant himself and all the endless variations of him and the derivatives from him, all modern philosophy are little illegitimate Kantians, if you know what I mean. If that's what children are taught, once they leave college, what do they bring to life? What you see today. We're kind of reaching the visible climax of Kantianism. They take dope. They try to kill their mind in every way possible. They leave range of the moment. They have no values, no goals, and no selfishness. Well, they're terribly unselfish because they haven't got one independent idea in the world. 